All right, so I'm working on this little bit of leak that you see here. And what that is, is out of the thermostat housing comes a little spout. And then on top of that is the pipe or hose that goes around the back under the engine computer right there, down and around to the throttle body, which I have disconnected here on this end. That's the throttle body inlet hose, heater hose or pipe. And back over here, what appears to be the case is that that little plastic piece that sticks down in there is cracked. So I've got a new pipe. And uh, I'm attempting to replace it. Here's the challenge because that thing threads all the way back through there and actually goes under the computer. I had to loosen the computer, actually take the bolts out, lift it up so I could get that hose out right here from underneath it. And now I gotta take this old one out and thread the new one in. Okay, this got really interesting really quickly. <laughs> So here's what had actually happened. Here's why this was leaking. This is supposed to have a longer nipple on this that goes down in the hole uh, in the, the little spout down in the assembly, or housing rather, for the uh, thermostat. All right? So let me show you. That broke off. That clearly broke off. Let me show you what it was. All right. So there's the, the little tube that that goes down into sticking up there. Here is what came out of that. And I had to use, as you can tell, not not these or, or the ratchet, but some picks. I had to use a, a straight one and I had to use this tiny little angle one. The O-ring from that old piece was stuck down in there and then the rest of that little nipple just was rotted off down in there. And I scraped out, you can see there's a bunch of goo. I scraped out a bunch of goo as well. So I think I've got that cleaned up well enough that I can put this piece on there, but look, you can see how much longer that is there. It sticks down in there and locks in. So here we go to give it a shot, I guess. All right, good news. That went in with a little bit of downward pressure. It snapped in, it clicked in, so it is locked on. Uh, I have that running around here. I need to put that uh, underneath the uh, computer there. Well, that's the fuel regulator, pressure regulator, but there's the computer, and uh, that right there tucks underneath the computer. There's little places for it to lock into the uh, manifold down under there. Took me a while to thread it through all this nonsense, but I got it through. There's the end. I need to get the clamp off the old one, put it back on there, put the, uh, what is it, the EGR tube or whatever back on there. Um, reassemble the airbox and top off my coolant and should be ready to go. Alright, let me see if I can show you what I've done here. So there is the, the new pipe clipped in where the uh, antifreeze will come up and go through that pipe and head over to the throttle body. You can watch, follow the hose, perhaps. If I can keep my light on, here it is around the corner. It goes back underneath the uh, computer back there. See it? That black hose looking thing. Mm -hmm. Goes underneath the computer. Pick it up on the other side of the computer. Goes down. Right there, underneath the wiring harness, comes out the other side there, and then into the soft rubber hose that then goes into the throttle body. So, let me zoom out so you can get a where I've been, better picture of where I've been working. So, it starts over here on the left side of that head, works its way back, comes around underneath the computer, comes down around the corner here, and then into the throttle body. It was a bit of a pain to thread that through, but I got it. 
So now I'm just putting things back together. I got the computer um, screwed back in tight. Uh, I got this, all this stuff over here connected back up. Next up will be the throttle body. I got the EGR tube or uh, reconnected. I think that's what that is. I'll put the throttle, I'll put the airbox back in and connect all that stuff back up to the throttle body. And then we're ready to test this thing. Well, good news, bad news. Let's get my light here and then uh, zoom you in. You can see, still got a tiny, tiny little leak. See that little grip there? And the car is at temperature. But it is pooling. So that's frustrating. I'm wondering now if that stem of that thing is cracked, and if it is, uh, that probably means I gotta replace the whole water pump. Or uh, sorry, thermostat housing. Well hmm. it's disappointing, but the good news is is that I know that hose now, that pipe is not broken off down in there. Uh, I'll run this a couple days and see, uh, see if anything changes, if it gets worse or better. So I'll just light this sit there for a second. It's really frustrating. That's also blurry, sorry. All right, well, I bet that piece is cracked, that stem is cracked. That's a little bit more significant repair. Uh, basically, all this will have to come out, get out of my way, and I can replace that from the style housing. But, I don't have one, and getting dark, so. Rats. Alright, until next time. Thanks for watching.